Flying through wormholes can be really risky business in EVE Online if you don't know what you're doing. Essentially, it's very easy to get stranded in a wormhole, either if you let an exit collapse behind you, or you forget to bookmark your way out, or you might get chased through numerous different wormholes by blood-hungry PvPers. It's also just entirely possible that whilst you're pushing a chain of wormholes looking for content, that you just forget the way back and end up lost, because in wormholes, there is no star map. Fortuitously, we can make our own. Ahoy there folks, I'm Captain Benzie, and in today's video I'm going to introduce you all to the wonders of Tripwire, the wormhole mapping software that's completely free to use and surprisingly simple once you get your head around the basics. Tripwire is an incredibly powerful tool. It's one of those tools that in EVE Online I'm not actually sure how I'd play if it didn't exist. It is that useful. Essentially it is going to allow us to create a map of various different wormhole systems and to list the content within them, either for personal use or for corporation use. Now I'll put a link to Tripwire in the description down below. You'll need to head over there, sign up for a free account and link your character using the EVE SSO login. Once you've got this you'll be able to click on your name up here, choose which character you have linked and essentially activate them as who you're going to be using for mapping or flying around with. It's worth noting you can go into the settings up here as well, this is where we will briefly talk about masks. Here you can check that you are on the right character and you're using the right mask. Masks are kind of like view settings, essentially it's who can see what you're doing and what can you see otherwise. If it's just for you, if this is just for your own personal use, then you can absolutely click on private and only you will see the notes and the mapping that you're doing. If you were to click on Corp, however, then anyone who is in your corporation and currently using the Corp mask will be able to see what you are mapping, you will be able to see what they are mapping, you'll even get little icons, like almost like yeah, little pawns, that will showcase that someone is in that system, so you can kind of see where your corporation are moving. You see, Tripwire uses the EVE API to almost real-time update what's going on. Now, if we close all this down, I just want to give a brief overview to the Tripwire screen as you're seeing it. If yours looks a little bit different, it's because you can customize the layout by clicking here in the top right. You can then drag all of these boxes around, resize them to your personal preferences. I like this layout. The top box here is the mapping screen. This will actually populate and fill out with all of the different systems and show all of their connections, kind of like a flowchart that should be fairly obvious as we go along how to use that as a map to navigate. To the bottom left, we have the System Info tab. This is information about the system that you are currently looking at. In this case, I'm looking at J155403. And this is pulling information from Anoikis, Dotlan, and Zed Killboard. So we can see how many people have jumped through here recently, how many pod kills, ship kills, and NPC kills have been in this system. And you can see this has been a nice, quiet one, which is surprising because Class 3s are quite popular. It tells us a little bit about this system, essentially. We can even see in the bottom left here that this system does have a nullsec static. If you don't know what a static hole is, you really should have gone and watched my Wormhole 101 video already. But for the time being, essentially, it means there is always a connection to a nullsec system. Now, when that connection closes, a new one will immediately respawn and it will be to a different nullsec system. So it might be in Fountain, then when it decays or is rolled or whatever, it opens up in Geminate or so on and so forth. It could be absolutely anywhere. It's worth noting that if you look on the map screen here as well, you can actually see this little N here suggests that there is a nullsec static. You'll obviously notice that some of these are things like H for high sec, L for low sec, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. If there is a static for a particular wormhole system. Ultimately that just gives you an idea of what to expect in this system. The middle box here is our cosmic anomaly box. This is where we are going to be able to see what content is available and list further content for other people in our corporation if we're using a corp mask which is what I'm going to be basing most of this video around. 
On the right hand side here then we have the notes. We can add comments essentially into this window here. So whilst you're exploring, if you saw a whole load of people passing through here, you could make a note of that so that other people when they look at this system are aware of it as well. You may have come to this system, you know, a couple of times throughout the day and there's someone patrolling here. There's like an Astero sitting around scanning and waiting for people. You can leave these kind of notes. You can also just mention that, you know, for example here, once we found this nullsec hole, because obviously a nullsec system is just a bunch of random letters and numbers, you could even put in a note here just to say where that one currently is going or don't do this site because I want to do it or stuff like that. Loads of stuff you can do here. You just type it in, you hit save and it will save it here for everyone using that mask to see. But, okay, we need to talk about mapping. Mapping is going to be the first step in using Tripwire. So once you are logged in on your character, we're going to make sure that we are looking at the system you are currently in. And I do apologize, I work on a laptop here, so there's going to be a lot of alt tabbing around. You can see I am currently in this system here, J155403. I'm going to begin scanning this down. In Tripwire, you can see I am currently set to J155403. If you want to make sure that you are going into an exact system, you can just click here at the top and it will always go to the system you are currently in. You can then click on this little search icon here and search for a particular system if there's one you're looking for. We do also have information here on how many people are online on Tranquility, and what the time is, that kind of thing there as well. There are some buttons at the top left here, but we're really not going to worry about these. Essentially, these are just little toggles we can do for like adding certain systems or making sure that your favorites are highlighted. It is worth noting this key, however, that this will show how the different connections are working um, as we map them. So get used to those colors and differentiations in lines. Obviously, you know what a stable wormhole is. It becomes a dotted line when it's towards the end of its life. If it has been destabilized by mass, it will go from a blue line to a yellow line to a red line, and if it is one of the frigate exclusive holes, it will be a green line. We'll see more of that in just a moment. At this point, we also want to make sure that we have this little fast forward button here toggled onto yellow. This will automatically follow your in-game system. We also then have this toggle auto mapper down here, again turned to yellow, so that essentially Tripwire is going to be watching my character and making sure that everything I do gets automatically populated in here to the best of its ability. Right, with that said, let's alt tab back into the game and we're going to start scanning down some of these sites. So I've managed to find a whole ton of content in this system, everything from wormholes to gas sites, relic sites and combat sites, but I need to be able to report that to the rest of my corporation. Well, you could go across to Tripwire and then manually start adding these in by hitting add a new signature, picking the types and then typing all of this in piece by piece, but that's the kind of thing you do if you absolutely hate yourself and just never want to do anything with your life ever again. No, instead, there's a much easier way. If we click down into the probe interface here onto one of these different anomalies, we can then press Ctrl and A on our keyboard to highlight everything, Ctrl C to copy it, and then if we alt tab back across here and press Ctrl V, it will paste all of this directly into Tripwire. Notably, not only has it added all of these different sites with their cosmic signature identities and their types here, it's also added in the wormholes that I scanned down as well. Now, this particular system, the game knows, Tripwire knows, it has a nullsec static. We can see it down here, right? This means that this system here is guaranteed to take us into nullsec. We just don't know which of these two wormholes it is yet. Again, we could jump through and start mapping this manually, or if we ensure that we have follow my in-game system mapped on, we can actually do this automatically as well. So if we jump back across to the game, close everything down, I'm here at a wormhole which is signature CAG870. So we're going to do a quick descan, make sure no one's around. I'm then going to enter this wormhole, he says, dropping his cloak before we do. And we'll see whether this is the, well, this is the nullsec one, I can tell you now because I've already had a look at the information. So we're going to jump through this and this will update here tells us the name of the system we're now in in game. We are in Nullsec Z7DPAT. And if I go back across the tripwire, it's going to ask which one of these I jumped through. 
Now I can tell you it was CAG 870, so we can click OK on that, and suddenly it's going to update all of that and add this as a new connection here as well. And because I'm using a mask, you can see I'm also currently shown as in this system. Awesome. That's kind of all I need to do at this point. Now, obviously, good practice. Bookmark this on the other side. I've kind of already done this, but we're just going to jump straight back through and head towards the other wormhole in that system and see where that one leads. This time around, we're looking at this cosmic signature here of RKA743. Again, we are going to enter this wormhole, and if we now Alt-Tab across to Tripwire, that should have updated everything on this side. It should hopefully not even need to ask us which system we just jumped into, but we can just remember it's that RKA if we need to. Let's let it update on this side, double check on Tripwire. Oh, perfect, brilliant example here. Not only has this gone right, okay, well, you've come out of the system you were in into this one, which is what we had here, but it's actually then recognized a load of stuff that my corp mates have done. So I've just mapped this particular wormhole, this J155403. There's the NullSec system that I was looking at before, but by coming into this particular system, you can see they've started to put some notes here, and they've also had a look further down these chains and started mapping those. So now I can click onto these, and I can start looking for all kinds of different content that might be available for me. And if needs be, I can then always just click back on this, and it will take me right back to the top into the system I'm currently in. And that's basically it. That's Tripwire. Like, that's as complex as you need to make this. That's all the information that is necessary to get you and your corp mates out and about exploring space, mapping wormholes as you go safely and effectively in order to supply content for each other, see what's in the nearby areas, and heck, in this case, you can even see that there's some really cool little connections. Like if we knew particularly an alliance perhaps based here that maybe wanted to get to here, we can sell them this connection. We know that there's our high sec static going out this way. If I fancied going out to Nenomalia, then I can head down this way. There's easy ways to map through and see what's around. Now, some of these haven't been fully mapped. We can tell this one hasn't been fully mapped because it's got a, a five and a four static. Now, the four static is probably the one that connects here, right? Four and four to there. But there's then a five that should be coming out of this at some point. Same here with this one. This C4 has a C3 and a C2 static. We found the C3 static. We haven't found the C2 static, but we did find a random C4. So this might be worth me going to scan and expand this chain out even further. It's really that simple and it's really that powerful. Anyway, folks, this has been meant to be just a quick rundown on Tripwire. I'm sure there's a whole load of stuff I haven't covered and I haven't mentioned. I just wanted to try and keep it quick and keep it simple. So if you do have anything you think I missed that's of vital importance, drop it down into the comment section below. I'll pin all of the ones I can to make sure that that information is readily available. And who knows, maybe I'll update this at some point in the future with a little bit calmer, slower, and if I missed anything, full information. But this should be enough to get you started mapping wormholes safely for yourself or for your corporation. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden!